all right so thank you guys for stopping in so today we're going to be looking at bluestacks bluestacks is actually a software that you can download on your desktop once you download this software it allows you to run a simple base android jelly bean um, os on your desktop at the desktop level which is really cool so of course if you have an android based operating system on your desktop that will in turn give you the ability to run your apps play your your games that you usually play on your smartphone or smart you know handheld device so without further ado i'll go ahead and show you how to you know get it installed and set up neatly for you to use so um, the first thing that we're going to do is go to bluestacks.com or you could just do a google search for bluestacks read some more information if you like about the software um, right off the bat it's a real neat software and like I said it just gives you the ability to play all your games on your desktop that you use to play on your smartphone so once you're at bluestacks.com or bluestacks.com of course you'll go ahead and download hit the download option here and that's for XP Windows 7 and uh, Windows 8 now once you download the exe file you just want to go ahead and run it click on run you'll have the option to you know of course it's just going to extract the files and just do its own little thing here so of course I'll just go ahead and click yes and uh, continue next I'll just install it basically you know as a standard app store access and app notification hit next or install now you may run into some problems with an error code 2500 and for that code you will need to download a different version of um, Bluestacks. The version that you need to blue, um, to download if you run into problems with the 2500 code saying that your video card is not recognizable is actually uh, Bluestacks HD. That's the version that you want and that's also posted in the description as well. So if you're having that error code pop up you will need to just read the description. I will place that in the description so feel free to just click on that link and that's the version of the Bluestack software that you need to download on your desktop. That's only if you're running into an error on your computer that says that uh, Bluestacks does not recognize your video or uh, graphics device, and you may need to up, you know, upgrade or update your driver. Updating the driver may work, and it may not work. So the easiest fix is to just use a different software. Now, if you haven't received a code at this point, or error code at this point, that means that your video card is accepted and it recognizes it. So it's just going to continue to install without any further problems. So I just wanted to mention that ahead of time. If you do have that error, feel free to check it out in the description and download that version. It's going to, you know, pretty much be gravy from that point. Alright, so still going. Doesn't take too long to actually install here, but I guess we just gotta be a little bit patient. <laughs> Alright, so we'll move that over. Now, once you have it on, it's pretty much on. So I'll show you how to access it from that point and also get the Google uh, Plus Store or the Google Play Store, sorry. Um, Add it on as well so that way you have access to the Play Store and you could download all your favorite apps, Flappy Bird, all these apps that you're used to. Um, you can also play on your desktop, so it's pretty cool. I think that's a neat uh, little tool or a neat feature there. So, wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully, you guys like it. Um, all right, so at this point, still going. This is where I like to get my coffee or tea. It seems like it's actually done right now. So the installation is done and it's actually downloading the game data. It's just kind of setting up a 
like an app store, a virtual app store where you could actually access your different apps and get started. All right, so it's just about done. And as soon as it finishes up here, I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so initializing. All right, so at this point, I'm actually inside the software. And as you guys can see, it looks really neat. Um, if you look down here, it's pretty much the Android operating system, like I mentioned earlier. It has the home button, has your recent apps, as well as some other options here for exit. And you can exit the app, or you could go back. So, for instance, if I click on uh, Pinterest, I can just click back and get back in there. YouTube is the same thing. I can uh, just double click on YouTube, get right into um, YouTube here. Now you will need a you will need a Gmail account in order for you to use these features. Sometimes, <laughs> of course, no market is found, so we'll actually have to get that um, that app installed. So what I'll have to do in this case is probably go to the Play Store and install that app market. And then I should be able to um, get into YouTube and download any type of apps that I want on my desktop. So here we have it. I'm just going to go to search real quick. And um, I don't know. Let's search for Facebook. Now um, it gives you the option for you to search in the Play Store. So we'll go ahead and just click on that. We'll continue. Because you have to set it up. And like I mentioned, to use the Play Store, you'll have to use your um, Gmail account or create a new Gmail account. In this case, I'm just going to use my existing Gmail account since it's easier. Now, um, once you've had your Gmail account and you log in here, it's really easy like you guys are going to be amazed at what you can do on a desktop alright so let's hit just next continue Let's try that again. All right, so once you've signed into your Gmail account, you will need to, of course, accept the terms of services in order for you to use the, uh, the application. So what I'm in right now, guys, is actually the Gmail Play Store, Google Play Store so of course they have the new Kardashian game here so <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Kardashians but of course of course it has the ratings and all that good stuff if you need to install it not gonna install it however uh, let's do this game here and I just wanna download it just a random game to see if it works it's 42.81 megabytes so let's give that a try and of course let's accept everything here
It's pretty neat. Looks like a neat game. I think you guys would agree. Yeah. It's pretty neat. So of course we're gonna just go back. More than halfway done, so let's see what it looks like once it's uh, fully installed. Alright, so of course here it's doing the installation. So let's open it and let's see if it works. I'm just opening it so you guys can actually see that you know everything works like it should, just like a smartphone so you really shouldn't have any type of problems um, getting this you know or playing with this here Actually, just choose whatever car that you want to. Um, I don't know, let's do yellow. I guess we can't buy any more because we don't have any money yet. <laughs> so let's do free cash, I guess. But you guys get the gif. I mean, you know, of course everything works. I'm in the app right now. I can pretty much do anything that I want to do at this point. Um, so. I'll go ahead and just exit this particular app, um, get back to home, and once I'm out the home page, I just click recent apps and it just pulls up what I've done recently here. So uh, hopefully you guys find the video, this video useful, I think it was really cool, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, please like. if. If, if you know if you find this video interesting and, and, and if it helped you out and also subscribe to my channel I have a lot more videos like this I'll be doing a lot more uh, reviews on apps and stuff like that so please subscribe and thank you again for watching